So here we are, Prolocult, doing games. This is a postscriptum. It's like a pretend realistic version of World War II. And we're going to wander around in it for a bit and get shot at a lot because that's what culture is now, apparently. So, streaming is pretty much the most obvious way in which video games and the internet have interacted outside of multiplayer modes. It's uh, really, really incredibly popular. And what it is, is it's advertising. Like hours and hours and hours and hours of uncut advertising. But it pretends not to be advertising. Well, you better fucking keep your damn politics out of my fucking games. That streaming is advertising in a functional and economic sense does not mean that its full use can be explained by this fact. It must also be considered in terms of its functional use for an audience who do not exclusively use streams as a shopping guide, if even consciously at all. There was an American shooting at us then. He's in that building. Oh, top floor, top floor, left window. Oh God! I am dead! Continuity break! Some streamers are watching because they're funny. Others are watched because they're really good at games. Not to get too theoretical, intellectually lazy quips being the modus operandi of this medium. The one that we're pretending to do. But it is important to note that the passive nature of viewing a stream represents but a modification of the total flow seen in the postmodern medium of television and its ludic adaptation, the video game. This modification has come about in response to the needs of a culture ever more based upon internet connectivity. I thought it was a tag. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. While streaming elicits the kind of total flow given by television or the video game, this new form has no formal structure whatsoever. Viewers may tune in and tune out as they please. It matters not what they watch. I think we should like pretend to play the game for a bit so it looks like we're streaming rather than like doing this weird art house thing. Aside from this element of streaming as a new kind of total flow, it is also important to consider this element of authenticity. A huge appeal of streaming is that it appears that those who are performing it are authentic. This ties into a broader feature of socioludic media with audiences increasingly expecting authentic video as they receive a great deal of this kind of media daily on social media sites such as Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The relevance of this observation to streaming pertains to something that has been lost from video games, namely split-screen multiplayer. As I'm saying this next line, can you emerge from the tree and walk down the road toward the house? Oh, we're being shot at. Oh, Alex is dead. Um, but like, question I have about these kind of games is like, it seems like there should be civilians in World War Two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You wouldn't, you wouldn't play it, would you? Like a real simulation of a real war. I mean, some fuckers would. Split screen multiplayer was by far easier to play with one's own friends at the same time, thus creating a genuine social experience in a manner similar to a board game, a card game, or a... Playing with one's friends online is different. Not only do we all require a copy of the same game in order to play, but we also must have an internet connection and schedules which align. For those of us that are older, poorer, or simply do not have the time to play these games, this is not a simple matter. As such, the idea that the stream is authentic is really important for scratching that itch. Enemy, enemy. 
He got me. The chats in Twitch and other streaming services further aid this feeling of authenticity and social experience. In essence, therefore, to enjoy a stream, one is living vicariously through the play of other people. One is emulating a social experience in attempting to feign that one knows the streamer and is familiar with them. Their personality matters and it is important in this there. way. Oh, I got dead. I did. Shit. Of course, this supposed authenticity is not real. It is a facade which merely aids in selling a product to a consumer. This is crucial to understand, as what we are experiencing in a stream is representative of a broader feature of socio-ludic culture. When we engage in these online spaces, we are engaging in a simulacrum of social life, an emulation of it, which has no relation to reality. Holy fuck, that's Bill Clinton. Bob wasn't in that shot, was he? Of course this problem happened again. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't the first take immediately resolve in death again? <laughs>